The future of Lyon's Usem Ua is up in the air and the latest article from our Jules Lorraine over on ESPN.com says there are a number of Premier League clubs in the race for him and it does seem that Arsenal, who had been one of the front runners, could face competition from the likes of United, Liverpool and Spurs. What more do you know about this, Mark Ogden? Well, he's obviously a player with... Uh... In, in big demand, obviously, with those sort of clubs looking at him, I think if he can pick one of those clubs, he's, he's going to be a, a big move for the for the summer, isn't he? But I think Tottenham are keen. Tottenham are considering looking at letting Tangi and Mbappé come back to, to Leon, which I'm surprised at. I think Mbappé had a, obviously a bad first season at Tottenham, but he came into his own last year, a real fan's favourite. The problem with this deal is that Mbappé earns quite a lot of money. I think it, it'd be Leon's biggest earner by some way if he went back to Leon. So the finances might not stack up. But you know, Uwa is a player that has. You know, Arsenal were very keen to get him last year. It didn't quite happen. I think there's going to be a bit of a scramble for him. He's obviously available this summer. If he's looking at clubs like Liverpool, Man United, Tottenham, Arsenal, I think a deal will get done. But right now, Spurs seem to have the best idea with a, a player swap. But let's don't see how it stacks up in terms of the finances. Now, one thing that's looking more positive for Arsenal, though, Mark, is them reaching an agreement, in principle at least, for Ben White. What do you know about this deal? Yeah, it looks like they're going to agree a deal in, in a fee for the, in the region of £50 million, pounds, which is, is big money for Arsenal, especially for a, a domestic player. They, they tend to spend their big money on forward, you know, so they are attacking players. But I think it's the right move for Arsenal. They do need to strengthen at the back. They've been too inconsistent there for too many years now. I think I think Ben White obviously went to the Euros with England, made a, a late break in the squad. He's a very promising young defender, strong, determined, a good centre-half that Arsenal could really build their team around if they you know, able to add to that as well. But I think he's, he's a step in the right direction for us. I think it's a good signing, a very promising signing. Do you think the same there, Nadim? Are you a fan of Ben White? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan, actually. So I know somebody who um, who's watched him for a couple of years now, and he would always be praising him, and I wasn't exactly sure what he was praising. But upon really studying his game, this is somebody who's incredibly competitive, he's really good on the ball, reads the game really well, not somebody who's lunging in and things like this. And I was happy to see him make the England squad in the summer because he very much deserved to be there for his performances last season. And for Arsenal, you know, they might question the, the money and things like this. But for me, it's the culture at Arsenal in terms of, you know, you have players who maybe play good football and so on, but at times they lack consistency. But here is a guy who I think can be very consistent, can be very, very competitive, can be tough at the back, but then still play the balls out as well. And ultimately, I guess that's what you need from Arsenal in this transition league phase now. Because ultimately, as I say, they can play some nice football and look really nice one day. But then the next, they probably won't be there. But I think in Ben White, they've got a good ball player. But somebody who is desperate to defend and stop that goal from going into his net. And I think for Arsenal overall, that's not really been something they've had for a long time now. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.